Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is This Tree's Family Robertson for 1980. So let's get started. Peter Pan Records presents Mighty Mouse in Swiss Cheese Family Robinson. Join us now for another exciting adventure of our hero of heroes, Mighty Mouse. On the golden sands of Miami Beach, a certain well-known champion of justice is secretly enjoying a much-needed rest. As he relaxes by the calm blue waters of the ocean, little does he realize that many miles away float the victims of a shipwreck. The Swiss cheese family Robinson, hoping that somehow their message for help will reach civilization. Their message floats in a bottle in the ocean while they float on a raft of Swiss cheese. There were days when their frail raft was tossed about by angry waves. Other days, when the scorching sun would beat down unmercifully upon them. They started to eat the Swiss cheese beneath them. And now, as their hunger grows greater, their raft grows smaller. And smaller. And smaller. fish nibble away at the cheese raft. A swordfish cuts a slice for lunch. The raft grows smaller still, till it's a crumb. Will the little family perish? Hmm? Perish the thought, for a friendly turtle swims quickly to their side and pulls their raft to safety on the shore of a wild little island. It's an island of palm trees, tropical breezes, luscious fruit, a paradise. At last we're safe, they cried. What are they? The island is inhabited by a tribe of man-eating cannibals who know a good meal when they see one. They capture the little family. Meanwhile, the wind and tides speed their message on its way. As the bottle floats toward Miami Beach and to our snoozing Mighty Mouse, the cannibals light their fires to cook their newfound lunch. Mm. Our little friends are tied to a stake over the fire. Their lives are at stake, for soon they'll be stake. The flames leap about them. The cannibals leap about the flames in a wild dance. Was disco ever like this? Mighty Mouse? Nearer and nearer floats the bottle to the one person who can save them. Will it be too late? No, not that way. The tide carries the bottle to the beach where our hero is sleeping. Mighty Mouse, wake up! Wake up! The bottle! Look in the bottle! Mighty Mouse awakes, opens the bottle, reads the message of help and zooms into the air to the rescue. Meanwhile, the little family is in dire peril as the flames leap higher and higher about them. The cannibals gather for lunch. Mighty Mouse reaches the island. The cannibal chief sees him. Look, he cries, in the air. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it tomorrow's supper? Shoot it down, he cries. The cannibals hurl their sharp spears into the air at Mighty Mouse, but they bounce off his mighty little chest. The cannibals seize the flaming wood from the fire and try to burn our hero. But cool cat that he is, a cool mouse that he is, he beats out the flames with his bare hands. The chief calls for reinforcements. Suddenly, a hundred cannibals swoop down from the trees on top of Mighty Mouse. The battle is on. Can Mighty Mouse survive? So outnumbered. Can Mighty Mouse win? Does a zebra have stripes? Yes! One by one, the cannibals fall under the blows of Mighty Mouse. He wins! The Swiss cheese family Robinson is saved just as the TV cameras arrive. So the Swiss cheese family Robinson became famous. What was once a wild and uncivilized island is now a popular summer resort. Thanks to Mighty Mouse.
So that was the Swiss Cheese Family Robertson from, from 1980. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.